Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're installing a sump pump in a crawl space right here. This is something that you, the homeowner, they could do this. This is not that difficult. Let's go in the sump, in the crawl space and let's take a look and see what's going on here. So we've already started digging. You can see the entrance to the crawl space here. We're just going to crawl right back here to the back. Okay, <clears throat> these guys have already dug out the sump pit. We've showed you how to dig this pit on many other videos. But you can see sump pit is about two feet deep. We're going to perforate this pit all around and we're going to put gravel around the sides of it. You can kind of see more here. Let's bring the light over. You can see how deep our pit is. We're right beside the footer and we're going to put gravel all the way around the pit. That helps water get into the pit as it comes across the crawl space floor. This stuff right here, this is a good example of it. This is efflorescence. And you can see it looks like a cobweb. You can see. This is water in the block right here. And that is caused from a reaction of Portland cement and water. Water gets in behind the block, fills up, and starts to push this stuff out. It's just salt. It's a sodium compound. This home was designed with a core. You can see this hole that goes through the foundation right here. And it doesn't really go anywhere. It just goes out into the ground. Water came down from the crawl space. Let's take a look behind me. Still can't really see it, but everything's graded this direction. The whole crawl space drains to this corner right here. So when you're putting in your sump pump, your sump pit, we want to put it in the lowest point. These guys have done a great job. They've dug it all out. What we did was we put it into um, buckets and wheelbarrow. We have plenty of room and height in this crawl space. Pretty easy to take the wheelbarrow out. And they you grade it off on the side of the house. Real simple. So let's go ahead and core this wall. Remember, core, we're going to put a sump pump down in the pit, inch and a half pipe up, and we're going to core right through this wall and send this water outside. So we already measured inside measurement inside was 15 and 3 8 so basically we've got an 8 inch block and a 4 inch uh, brick that we're going to drill through so we're going to add 12 to 15 which is 27 which puts us right here so we're going to drill through at this point got a nice core use the Bosch hammer drill diamond core bit the hole goes right through that'll take our inch and a half pipe be able to plumb it right up from the sump pit and bring it right outside here then we're just going to come down and splash it out here splash it out here on so the ground you can see the hole this is a two inch hole and this is an inch and a half piece of PVC and it slides right through there a little bit of debris in there will push through, but it's nice and tight. Real good, clean hole. Okay, so we're going to set up our uh, sump basin, our sump pit. What we need to do is perforate all around the pit. We're going to start by putting a few holes here in the bottom so that the pit doesn't float up. Remember, this would be like a boat. Water gets underneath of it, and water could you know, push the pit up out of the ground. So we want that water to drain out of the pit when it's uh, not in use. Go ahead and drill some holes in there. Just a nice little handy dandy drill. And we just lay it down on the side. Go ahead. And we drill all around it. We need to drill up about halfway through the pit. And we're going to surround this with gravel. The gravel will allow the water to come through into the holes. And the pump will take it out. No problem. Okay, so we're going to set up the Zoller M53. You buy your Zoller online or from a plumbing supply store. You know, this is the box. You see his nice little packaging there. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put in a male threaded inch and a half adapter that goes into a slot right here, the female threaded spot. Put it in there hand tight. <clears throat> Next, we're going to put a riser on there. And the riser brings that water up and out of the pit. We're also going to put on a check valve. 
So we'll tighten all these things up inside, but this is how it's going to look. We'll glue this up inside as well. <clears throat> Pump lifts the water up out of the pit, up the riser, comes out and we go through the foundation wall. We'll drill through that wall, you'll see how that's done. Bring it out, real simple installation. The homeowner can do this themselves, save themselves a few thousand dollars. So we're back here in the crawl space and got the guys bringing in all the material. You can kind of see what it looks like. Fair, fair amount of room in this crawl space, so pretty easy to crawl around. <laughs> But still got to bring all your material back. Chuck's bringing the pump and the pipe. Derek's bringing the pit. Still got to go back out there and get that gravel. And you can see our hole for the sump basin right here. You can also see where we cored through the wall. We brought our inch and a half PVC through there. We'll pull that through here in a second. We're going to put our sump pump down in the basin. Lift it up. Carry it right out through the wall. So a real good suggestion here is when you're bringing your sump pit in, you can see we're rolling it. The reason that we're rolling it is because we've got some gravel by the bag inside of there. A little bit easier than trying to lug them through here. Go ahead and pull out a piece of gravel there. You can see our gravel by the bag. Remember these are 40 pound bags. They weigh 40 pounds a piece. So we need about three or four bags of so gravel. We're going to set our sump here. pit down in the hole. Pretty much just drop it in place if you've done a good job digging it out. And it doesn't matter where those nipples are. You can see the nipple here on the side. Better, of course, is to have at least one facing the wall that you might come back and put footer tiles on. So probably going to come back here. You can see it's really wet here. But starting off with, put your sump pump and your basin in here first. That usually solves the bulk of your problem. So trying to save some money here. We've already set the pit down there, or the pump down in the pit, and what we've done is put our riser on here. We need to make the measurement of where we're going to put our 90 on here. So I like to dry fit things, of course. Remember that you're measuring from the inside of the coupling. So we just want to make a mark on it. Make sure you're level, relatively speaking. Make a mark. Take it out. We just cut that off and we should be at the right level. <clears throat> We're going to double check it real quick. Stick it down in our pump on the adapter. And yep, we're just perfect. Pull the pump over. And that's going to glue up really nice. <clears throat> so pull our pump out. We're going to go ahead and start gluing some things up here. Remember this is PVC cement and when it touches the PVC it begins to melt it. So it actually welds it together. Good amount of glue. Stick your riser in place. Push and hold. That one's set. Now we're ready to set the pump down in the sump pit. Line it back up again. Now we're ready to go ahead and glue these pieces together, putting on our 90. Good amount of glue. I usually do just one at a time. You can see it's going to fit perfectly on. Let's go ahead and glue the last piece up. Good amount of glue. I know you can't see me, but good amount of glue. <laughs> Push it together, and it's done. We're all set. Next, we're going to go ahead and put some gravel in here. Brought that gravel in. Remember, we perforated the pit. We need to put a little bit of gravel around the outside. I'm trying not to get it into the pit, but sometimes you get to it.
Hey Derek, will you bring me the, a lid, the one that has a slot in it? Yes. go ahead and plumb the discharge. I had Chuck go ahead and dry cut all these fittings. Um, what we're doing is putting 90 on it. You can see it. 90 comes down. Another 90 at the bottom. Then we're going to put a piece of inch and a half pipe just to discharge it a little bit away from this area. Real simple. Let's go ahead and work from the bottom up because it's such a tight fit. Let's go ahead and glue the bottom piece on. Doesn't matter which way this goes at this point, but this is important. We want to make this one go the exact opposite way of that first piece. You want to try to make it as straight as you can. Now we're ready just to, 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 to secure it <laughs> with our final bit of glue right here. Just push and twist and hold it. And that's already set up. Finally, what we're going to do is go ahead and put the discharge on just a few feet. Got our saw here in the PVC. We'll cut that off and we're all done. So all we're going to do now is put our lid in place. And remember that all this stuff's available at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, plumbing supply places. This is a job the homeowner can do themselves. It's really not that hard. Total time here, yeah, we do this every day. Total time here to dig, install, drill probably about an hour and a half cost pretty expensive 960 bucks save yourself some money hey this is chuck with apple drainage reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day we just finished putting in our sump pump up here the solar m53 um, water problem here in the crawl space and as we finished the electrician that we use quite frequently we recommend him very highly his name is Randy Darnell with Active Electric. He's here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and he just pulled up on the job site. What a great spot. So he's going to tell you a little bit about what he's going to do. Hey, my name's Randy. I'm with Active Electric out here with Chuck this morning. Look at installing an outlet for this uh, sump pump. Uh, it's required to be on a 20 amp circuit. Uh, it needs to be GF CI protected, and we're going to get that done today. Perfect. So, again, you know, things that we do ourselves, Randy just kind of told me, if you're going to do the sump pump yourself, you really got to check in to get the electrician out here to do this extra work. Remember that this needs to go, like he said, into a GFI on a 20 amp breaker. So, a little bit of information for you there.